Hi everybody, welcome back to Keeping It Real with Marilyn and Steve. Today we are on day 11 of our no spend and pantry challenge. And I went into the pantry this morning, grabbed out all the acorn squash and a couple other squash we had in um, a basket there. And it's time to get through these. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to take a few of them, we're going to cut them open, we're gonna put them in a pan into our wood cook oven and let those roast. But we're not going to waste anything. We're going to take the seeds. We're going to keep those, wash them up, and make a snack for later on tonight. I've picked out four of the acorn squash to start with. I may end up doing more. I'm not sure, but I'm going to start with these four. We're going to get these cut open, get the seeds out, and get them ready to get into the oven. We have our squash all cut in half, and because limiting waste is high on our list of priorities, especially when you're talking about food, we definitely will be taking all the seeds out of these. I'm going to put them in a bowl. And then once I have those done, we'll be getting the squash cut to go in the oven. So let me get started on getting these seeds out, which is super easy. Um, a lot of people think the only seeds that you can use to make a snack out of are pumpkin seeds. And that's not the case. Any kind of squash, the seeds make a great snack. So let me get these all out. And I'll be back. As you can see, all the innards have been taken out from the acorn squash. I have the seeds soaking in a jar of salty water on the counter, and we'll get back to those later. But for now, we have our halved acorn squash ready to go on the pan. And all I have here is just a typical pan covered in foil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour just a little bit of water onto the pan. And how much water you use is going to depend on the size pan. I'm doing just enough to coat the bottom of the pan so that when I put the acorn squash on, there's going to be a little water captured underneath the half of acorn squash. So we're going to get these all laid out on the pan, see how many we can fit in here, and then we will get these in the oven to roast. Now because I'm using our wood cook oven, um, it is going to cook a little bit different than your oven might. Normally, I would say put them in at about 400 degrees uh, Fahrenheit for about an hour, and then let them turn the oven off and let them sit for about an hour. Uh, so that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing. And we'll get these started. It looks like I may not be able to fit this one, but we're gonna give it a try. Let me get these in the oven, and I'll be back to you as soon as they're out. So it's been a little over an hour and it's time to check on our acorn squash. So here we have them. And the bottom rack versus the top rack. The top, top rack is always in our wood cook oven, gonna cook a little bit quicker. And these, fork goes in real easy. Definitely can tell these are done. Now on the bottom rack, let's take a look here. Yeah, there. It's it's tougher on the bottom rack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the ones on the bottom probably about another half hour. What I'm going to do is take the ones on the top out. I'm going to have them rest over on the counter for a while, and then I will take the ones on the bottom rack. I'll spin them around, put them up on the top rack, and give them about another half hour. Now while we have our seeds roasting in the oven, I have taken some of the acorn squash halves that we had roasted up. I still have another full pan of them, but I took the bigger ones and I'm going to stuff these so that we have these for dinner tonight and at least one or two more nights this week. So we've got these ready and now I'm going to make the stuffing that we're going to put in them. Since we're in our pantry challenge, what we're using for our stuffing are things that we have on our pantry shelves or in our freezer. So in my pan already, I have a stick of butter. Let me grab my other ingredients. We have a cup and a half of water. We're gonna bring that to a boil. And what I'm adding to it is just regular stuffing mix. So this is the same thing you would get at the store just regular stuffing mix. 
So as soon as this comes to a boil, I'll be right back with you and we'll get this mixed in. Now that our water and butter have come to a boil, we're gonna remove these from the heat. Bring them over here to our counter. We're going to dump in our stuffing mix, breadcrumb mix. And we're just going to stir that up. Get that all stirred in. And then we're gonna cover this and let it sit for about five minutes. Now that we have our stuffing done, we're gonna take and put some of that in each of the squash halves. But before we do that, I'm going to take just a little slice of butter into the bottom of each squash. And then once we have the butter in, we're gonna take some of the stuffing and we're just going to fill up the half of the squash with the stuffing. We're gonna do that with each one, get them into the pan, and then we'll be ready for the next step. Now that they're all filled with the stuffing, what we're gonna do is we're going to take and we're going to put some of our homemade maple syrup. We're gonna take and pour that over the top. So I'm just gonna drizzle that over the top of each one. And that's gonna, with the butter that's down in underneath, that's gonna make these super sweet. Now you can stuff your acorn squash with anything. You can use a mix of rice, you can use sausage, you can use hamburger, you can use anything that you like. For us, we like to do these as a nice sweet option. With the acorn squash, we think that the, the sweetness of the maple syrup really adds a nice touch. So I'm gonna cover these with foil put them back in to the oven. Now everything is actually already cooked, so all we're doing is warming everything up, letting the flavors really merge together. We're gonna put it in the oven. If I was using my regular oven, it would be 350 degrees covered with foil for about 20 minutes, and then take the foil off and cook them for another 10 minutes uncovered. So let me get these covered and in the oven, and I'll be back as soon as they're done. So the acorn squash is all done. We decided to put a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese on two of them. And the others we'll probably put into a container and put in the fridge. And I would show you the seeds, but we ended up eating all of them before I got back on video. So until next time, everybody, take care. And remember, if you have any videos you'd like us to do, leave a note in the comments. If you have a favorite recipe, that you use acorn squash for. Make sure you leave that as well. I'm sure everybody would love to see what you are up to. And until next time, take care. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our videos and wanna help us out, please like this video and subscribe. If you know someone who would like our videos, make sure to share as this really helps our channel out. Again, thanks and see you soon.